الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق أجمعين سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب رب العالمين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجمعنا معهم يا رب العالمين آمين Today's khutbah has a title that I chose a fact and an act an ultimate fact and a necessary act when you open the Facebook nowadays and WhatsApp group, every five, six messages, you found a message that is special. And this message is getting more and more nowadays. Those messages are always related to a condolence. A condolence about someone who passed away. A mother, a father, a son, a daughter, a sister, a cousin, a nephew, a friend. Subhanallah, never in my life I've seen that many news about death as those days. Not only because of Corona, we all know that death is related to when your time is done, you are done. Qala ta'ala, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut, wa qal, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدُ وقال فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون وقال وَلَنْ يؤخر اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا وقال اقترب للناس حسابهم وهم في غفلة معرضون وقال 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 إن لله وإن إليه راجعون قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وكفى بالموت واعظا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أكثروا من ذكر هذه اللذات الموت I've brought some evidences very few from the Quran and Sunnah of so many that the khutbah will finish and we cannot finish reciting them but the khutbah today will be about a fact and an act this is the fact, the only fact that the whole world agrees upon, that our time ends with death. And this fact, everybody agrees that it comes without warning. It comes suddenly, and no one is prepared to face it. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. So, just two days ago, I woke up at 6 a.m., preparing to Fajr prayer, and I, as usual, as everybody else, this device we open to check what's going on. A family from a, a, a message from a family, from a friend, something important, and I found two news of death. One of them was my closest friend since high school, and he's only 52 years old. And the other one that was a cousin of mine, he's 60 plus years old, and both died from Corona, of course, with the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, and there were, it was suddenly, a few days from the, from the start of the entrance of hospital. And last month, and every single day, all of us, we see this. The question is, those who passed away, they went to Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. They are in the mercy of the Creator who is more merciful than our own mom and dad and everyone else.
But what about us? What is the act that we need to know? Muhammad Sallallahu when he said, وَكَفَى بِالْمَوْتِ وَاعِضَى He means you and me. That the, 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 وَقَالْ أَكْثِرُ مِنْ ذِكْرِ هَذِي بِالْلَذَّاتِ Mention always death so you remember that do not waste your time with dunya affairs and forget al-akhirah. And sadly, we carry our own people who died, we bury them, and we go back to our normal life. It's okay to go to your life, but remember this life, you need to equip yourself with what will make your life after death the best life possible. It is a journey, brothers and sisters. It is a journey. This is not what we were created for. We were created for Al-Firdaus Al-A'la. We were created for Al-Jannah. So we want to go back home to Jannah and join Muhammad Sallallahu in Jannah. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فيا فوز المستغفرين فاستغفروا الله بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد we want if we now spoke about the fact let's talk talk about the act I'll start with a very short story. Al-Hasan al-Basri radiallahu anhu, one of the tabi'een, the people who have followed the second generation after passing Muhammad sallallahu passing the word to, to heavens. He, was, he went to buy something from the market and there was someone who his job was to carry the staff for others. We call him in Arabic al-Hammal, the one, the carrier, the one who helps people carry their stuff. And he looked at him from the time he met him until the time he, uh, uh, they reached the door of the house, he was repeating words. And all what he used to say, Astaghfirullah, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah. Or, and we know that marketplace is not close to where people used to live. There is always a central market that time. For maybe an hour or more or less, that's all what he says. And then when he gave him his money, he asked him, why you are only saying Alhamdulillah and Astaghfirullah? That not educated, poor man, his work is just to carry bags for others. He answered in a way that al Hassan al-Basri, one of the greatest ulama, he, he said that this, this he, you are a better alim than me. Than me. What those words were, he said, all my life is either enjoying the ni'am of Allah Azza wa Jal, so I have to say Alhamdulillah. Or committing sins, so I have to say Astaghfirullah. So I, I live between Alhamdulillah and Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah and Alhamdulillah. What, what's the beauty of this ilm? It seems easy, but it requires tawfiq from Allah Azza wa Jal to our hearts. So what is the act we'll end up now with? Two acts. There are حقوق العباد وحقوق الله عز وجل. Before we die, we don't know when we die. We have to prepare for both. If someone owes you something that does money, or even something you said behind their back, or any kind of حقوق, any kind of rights upon you, your wife, your kids, your neighbor, they all have rights upon you, your family. You need to give them the right back. You need to pay back. You need to, if you ask the forgiveness for something bad you did 20 years ago, do it now. Because Allah Azza wa doesn't forgive on their behalf. Allah will forgive whatever happens between you and Him. And the second thing is, ask forgiveness from Allah Azza wa like this poor man was. Astaghfirullah, alhamdulillah. It'll make your life between thanking Him for the ni'am, for the goodness you have, and just the breath of oxygen. That's ni'ah ni'mah. The sight, the hear, your body, being able to pray in the masjid, unlimited ni'am. You need to say Alhamdulillah 24 hours. Allahumma aghfir lana wa rahamna. Wahdina wa ahdibina. Allahumma arham mawtana wa mawta al-Muslimin. Allahumma arham mawtana wa mawta al-Muslimin. Allahumma arham mawtana wa mawta al-Muslimin. Allahumma arhamna idha sirna ila ma saru ilayh. اللهم لا تأخذنا إلا وأنت راض عنا 
اللهم أحسن خاتمتنا اللهم لقنا لا إله إلا الله عند الموت اللهم احشرنا مع الصديق والصديقين والأنبياء والشهداء يا رب العالمين واجعلنا نجاور محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في الفردوس الأعلى يا رب العالمين من غير سابقة عذاب آمين 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 إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما وأقم الصلاة